back now with Judd from KISS 98.5 to talk about all the new music that will be hitting your speakers this fall. Seems like everyone has a new album coming out mm -hmm. in the next couple of months, Judd, and we, yeah. you oh, have a great covered. time for new music. It's great. You know, it's, everyone thinks movies for summer, fall, all about the music. All right, well, why don't we start with uh, not a, a new album, but a major show that happened over the weekend. Pearl Jam sold out the mm -hmm. first Niagara Center, and we heard the show was pretty amazing, which is kind of unique for these sort of uh, 90s bands that are, are starting to make that comeback. Yeah, they had a great show. Uh, it was really well reviewed in the Buffalo News, and they actually do have an album out that came out yesterday called Lightning Bolts. They're performing lots of stuff off that. Um, but everything that I saw and everything I heard is that people love Pearl Jam, uh, and it was sold out, which is uh, doesn't happen all the time when you have concerts that come to town. So when we're talking about their new album, I can imagine that a lot of people are fans from when they first came out. Mm -hmm. is, is it a call? back to that? Is the music similar to that or they, have they evolved since they've been away? The reviews that I read said that it was kind of a little bit of an uh, evolution of some sounds, kind of more current sounding, but definitely still hold true to their values that the fans, that the core fans, you know, know and love. Well, right. they love it a lot because they sold out, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of current sound, this loopy fiasco teaming up with this guy, yes. Ed Sheeran. Move out of the way. This song is unreal <laughs> that they put out. It's so good. And it's the strangest mix of Lupe Fiasco and Ed Sheeran. Mm -hmm. Yes, they are label mates, so it kind of does make sense. Um, but you don't expect Ed Sheeran with this kind of British, very soulful, I stand up and play with a guitar, with Lupe, who's a pretty kind of independent rapper mm -hmm. kind of thing, but it works. It's crazy and it works. And Lupe's coming to town at the end of November, on November 29th at the Rapids Theater. So you'll definitely be able to see that live. I don't know if Ed Sheeran's gonna come along with us. Does him, he but do that? Does he pop up at different shows? He I know he's be. busy. Yeah, I mean, he might be. I would assume that maybe, I don't know about our show, but some of the shows, mm -hmm. I bet you he'd pop up from time to time when so it works. Cool. And it seems like Ed Sheeran is collaborating with a lot of people. I know that he yeah. had that song out with Taylor Swift earlier in the summer. And uh, he seems like he's the new go-to guy. But we yeah. want to change gears a little bit because hitting the shelves Tuesday, October 18th, is of course Katy Perry's album, Prism, including that uh, mm -hmm. hit song roar and also just sort of to add this on released next Tuesday Jane Blunt's Moon Ladding which is uh I yeah, don't know. the guy that sings you're beautiful. Not out yet. Yeah. I don't, her song has been out for so many weeks. It's been weeks. out for so long, and she's doing, you know, she's released Dark Horse and a couple of other kind of like sampler tracks. Uh -huh. um, there's going to be a new official radio single, I think, coming next week, um, right in time for the album release. But I think with Katie, you can almost kind of hang on and wait a little bit. It's all right because it's Katie, so people wait, people <laughs> buy it. Um, but it's definitely going to be one of the biggest album releases of the end of the year. Now, yeah. I can't Im imagine that James Blunt's Moon Landing is going to be that big. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I only know him for from that song, uh, You're Beautiful, yeah. and then it kind of fell off the face of the planet. The one that he <laughs> did out on but the, the song did, did, did it. It's still yeah, the song's still everywhere. The song will not die. But uh, James Bond, I did hear a new song off of it, and that's why we included it, is that it actually is pretty good, and I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing, hearing his name a little bit more among some of the big stars we hear on the radio today. And every once in a while, you need that song to sit in your room by yourself. Yeah, and, and just you. have a good cry. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just weep. All right, right, these girls will not have you crying. <laughs> no. Fifth Harmony, they are an awesome girl group. Yeah, they're uh, finally going to have a full album out just in time for Kisses Bash. Beautiful. Uh, of course, it's going to be coming December 12th, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. They're a product of the X Factor. Emblem 3, who's with Selena Gomez, who is on the same season as them, they're here mm -hmm. today, and their album just came out, so it's just kind of the natural progression that they'll have an album out, and it'll be good to see. Good to have a real good girl group. We haven't had you know, a, a powerful girl group that's been on the radio for a little while. But we have some, had some very powerful single girls out yes. there. And speaking of one, that is uh, Kelly Clarkson. Her new album is coming up. And this is going to happen not too long after, for people that don't know this out there, she's performing at the Gallery Mall yep. for the new Microsoft Store Open. And uh, I have to say, I love Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> it's a Christmas <laughs> album. It's going to be it's going to be a holiday <laughs> album. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, I think it's a natural progression for her because she just came actually out with a you know new music album. This is all um, holiday songs. So it'll be a lot of fun. And it's perfect in time. It's at the end of November. People are going to start wanting to hear Christmas music. You're going to be doing your Christmas shopping. You can throw the new Kelly Clarkson CD I always in. say there are two people in the world. There are people that like Kelly Clarkson and people that lie and say they don't. <laughs> She's I think America's we all like idol. Her. None <laughs> of us are liars, right? No. None of us are liars. Yeah. Yeah. Right? At the, at the Microsoft store. So yeah, we'll, we'll be... continue to cover that official, <laughs> Matt will be very camping important out Kelly all Clarkson day. Their days okay. before. <laughs> All right, what's this one up to? Gaga. Gaga, well, she's got the whole new album, and, and we're going to be getting something new. It's called Our Pop. We're going to be getting a new song in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is definitely a, a huge thing. Applause, um, which I didn't exactly care for, but has been her third biggest selling single of her career uh, and is doing great nationally. So it's catchy. It's, it's catchy, catchy, and uh, <laughs> we'll have to see what the whole album is. This uh, applause doesn't really sound like anything she's done before, mm -hmm. so I'll have to see if that was just kind of a one-off for the song or if this is kind of the new direction of Gaga for the album. And another people person that a lot of people are, are fans of is Eminem, and I yes. know that he's planning a pretty big come at, comeback. Yeah, Marshall Mathers 2, his new album, of course Marshall Mathers is real name, um, 
that is going to be a very big album. A lot of people have been waiting, and Berserk is a great song. It goes mm -hmm. back to not necessarily the softer Eminem, it goes back to the very beginning of Eminem. So it'll be very nice to get that and see uh, what Eminem's got in store. A little bit fun Eminem. A little angry. And angry from Eminem. Eminem to probably one of the most different artists from Eminem, Celine Dion. She has new music too. <laughs> yeah, she's got new stuff, and of course, she's still <laughs> doing the Vegas thing, and it's Celine. You know, you can yeah. expect big notes, lot, you know, long riffs of music, and. And yeah, Celine Dion. <laughs> Celine Dion. She's, she's, she's like Kelly Clarkson, Matt. She's Celine. Just, yeah. She's like Kelly we'll Clarkson. Have to, we'll have to get them together. <laughs> All right. And then uh, we also want to make sure when we talk about here, we uh, we, we talk a little bit about uh, Kissmas Bash because I, I think the the whole uh, the whole hype of it is really big this year. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on, and uh, we're still not done announcing acts. We're still putting in some final touches, some actual real big ones we're still working on. And The Wanted also has a new album, yeah, which, which is going to be perfect. It's going to be kind of cool. Not often when we have acts at the show do like Fifth Harmony and The Wanted releasing brand new albums with full new slights of music uh, just ahead of the show. So it's kind of cool that you get to, you know, the fans get to see, and I'm sure they're going to perform a lot of stuff off the new album. And from The Wanted to another uh, boy band people love is the One Direction. One Direction, that people is. People, dogs, Everybody. Cats, this is going to be a huge, <laughs> huge album. Them. Of course, uh, Midnight Memories, new One Direction th uh, song. Next week, we're getting a new song from them. Uh, so it's going to be uh, very exciting. And I know that there's a lot of directors out there that are eagerly awaiting and have already pre-bought the album. So yeah, yes, there's a lot of, lot of little girls screaming. And Speaking sure of little of girls people. screaming, Selena Gomez is going to yeah. be tonight. There's going to be a lot. You're going to have a lot of fans and friends down there for the show. At yeah, First Night Center. it's going to be a great show. Emblem 3 is opening for them. Christina Grimmie is opening before that. Uh, and Emblem 3 has been here a couple of times. And everyone has a lot of fans here. Uh, and we're going to actually be throwing a pre-party with KISS 98.5. I'm doing my entire shift from 2 to 6 down in front of the Sabre store. Um, and I might just have a couple of last-minute pairs of uh -oh. tickets. Just maybe. Uh -oh. just, just maybe. <laughs> might have a couple so of last-minute pairs of tickets. So you might have to listen to like a certain radio station in Buffalo, maybe KISS 98.5 to get them. Yeah, there we go. But Selena is in town. She has never, uh, she's been here, I think, two years ago at Darien Lake. So this is her first time at the arena. It should be a good show. All right. Can't wait to hear your wrap-up of that show next week when you join us for Tuesday, Tuesday. Thanks for being here, Judd.